just too good here and the final black panther set was found at target i doubt the person was able to buy the set as target's pretty strict with street dates but to actually get our first look at the set is really exciting i wanted to see how this set turned out and to see this warship on the sea was not what i was expecting if anything it reminds me a bit of the flying fox with that boxy black design Though, I kind of did like the Flying Fox, and for this design, I don't know. I, I, I don't dislike it, but I don't love it. It's interesting to get a warship design as the main big build here, but it almost looks incomplete with just how many studs are shown at the side and how flat that bottom is. These were shared by Michael Bricks Forever on Instagram, apparently found by underscore Zeus or underscore Zeus, <laughs> whichever way, that's a cool name. The most interesting part for me are the minifigures. None of the other sets have M'Baku as a character, and this is the only set from the Black Panther Wakanda Forever wave to have Okoye, which gives her a new outfit. We previously saw those two characters on the box design. And speaking of new outfits, we get an exclusive variant of Ironheart Mark II, the full Iron Man-esque armor for Riri. The one in that uh, flyer set is a bit of an incomplete version since that seems to be the Mark 1. I. I really love the helmet in this set in particular. And then of course, once again, we have Shuri as Black Panther, where she appears in the other two sets. This set seemingly with an exclusive gold trim to the outfit, and also Namor. <laughs> which I'm still not used to seeing that face and having it so inaccurate to the movie where he's missing all of the facial hair. They could have maybe used this as an opportunity to fix that figure, but no, it seems like this was already way ahead of production before they could fix it for accuracy. Regardless, Michael Bricks Forever says this is an $80 set, and for $80, that seems like an appropriate price for the size. Though it is just a little bit bigger than that Goat Boat set. And the Goat Boat set is only $50, so maybe in some ways it's overpriced. I also do like the little bitty flyer builds, where it's a smaller version of a ship, not exactly a minifigure scale, and then you get miniature ships at the back. But it's just to capture this huge ship while still providing minifigures. Let me know what you guys think of this leaked set in the comments below. Does this live up to the hype of it being the final set for Wakanda Forever? Subscribe for more LEGO news and commentary, and check out Microbricks Forever on Instagram. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.